Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and you are looking for how to set up NVIDIA's new broadcast app. Now, you might be realizing that I'm on a different camera today. It's my webcam that I use for like just streaming and stuff like that. Um, the reason I'm on this is because I want to show the full effect of what you can do with this app. Uh, if you guys have not downloaded this app yet, you can download it at the link down below in the description. A quick disclaimer though, there is some system requirements that you have for this app. For GPUs, you need to have at least an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, a Quadros RTX 3000, or a Titan RTX or higher of a graphics card. You need eight gigabytes of RAM or higher. The recommended CPU is an Intel Core i5-8600, an AMD Ryzen R5 2600 or higher. And I found it fun kind of funny. It says you need internet as well. Make sure you have internet. Okay. All right, let's go right into this app. Obviously you're gonna download it off their website and just hit download now. So the thing that people are most excited for is actually just the camera um, side of things. Now they do have some things with the mic where you can remove noise and stuff like that. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend these types of things unless you really had a lot of background noise and that kind of stuff. You can do a lot more through your OBS or, or through you know a good preamp and, and stuff like that. But uh, this is a good noise removal if you kind of have that person who runs their fan directly into their mic or or, or that kind of stuff. It also has an audio source coming in. You can have uh, a noise removal on that. Pretty cool for those two things. Uh, these two things are not the coolest thing on this app though. The coolest thing on this app is the camera beta. So what this basically does is it allows you to blur the background it allows you to replace the background and then it allows you to remove the background and also do like an, an auto zoom or like it follows like your face basically. So we're going to show you through each one of these. Um, the first one is the background blur. This is my favorite part. I think this is the strongest part that they have. So let's check out how this changes things right now. So it blurs, it actually blurs my background. And if you can kind of see, it's pretty strong. Like it, it, it's not really missing a lot of parts, maybe a couple parts next to my headphones here. Um, now this is going to have to do with your lighting. You've got to have some pretty strong lighting. I could actually have probably better lighting in here for this kind of stuff. You're going to see a little bit of that when I do the go to the background replacement and uh, removal. But right here on this blur, it's actually pretty good. And even if I stand up like that, like that's kind of that's actually pretty impressive. It's not really like glitching out a whole bunch. It's not all over the place. And, and this is probably like my favorite piece of this this off next up we have background replacement and and if we go to this right here oh god uh this is this wasn't the picture i was gonna i was gonna show i don't uh is that harris hell okay if you don't have really good lighting or like a strong background it's gonna be a little bit rough but if you actually have like a even just like a, a somewhat plain background it's gonna be a little bit better i got a lot of stuff in my background so it's gonna kind of catch a lot of things you can kind of see that it's a little rough but it could be a funny bit. Like maybe I put something behind me, like, I don't know, Harris Heller with hearts or something. Oh wait, okay, uh, let's go to the next one. So background removal, kind of same thing here. You're gonna have a little bit of a rough time if you have a lot of stuff in the background, I think, but also if your lighting isn't really even um, on you, but you can kind of see like if I move a lot, then it kind of messes with some things here, right? And so it's just, you gotta make sure you have a, a little bit of a better background. Um, and I think like in terms of like more of a plain background than what I would have than what I have. And so I think that'll be, that would be a little bit better. And then the last one is auto frame. What this does is it basically follows you, it follows your face. Where, where, wherever you go, it follows you. Just like me, I'm following you right now. I can see you. Let's jump into how to uh, set this whole thing up and how to get it into your OBS or like Streamlabs OBS, that kind of stuff. So. Basically, what you're going to do now is you're going to, instead of grabbing your Logitech HD, you know, HD Pro webcam or whatever webcam you're using, you're going to actually grab NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, when you, when, you, when you click on that right away, it's probably not going to work, especially if you had custom settings here. What you're going to do is you're going to just go to the device default, and then you're going to realize that your webcam kind of looks like trash at that point. Um, something that you're going to need uh, is something that I found is going to be best to use during this whole process of, of using you know the, the new NVIDIA stuff is something called Logitech G-Hub. And this is a place where you can, uh, you can do all your settings on here for your camera instead of doing that on like Streamlabs OBS or your OBS, and that will feed over to there. 
if you're having trouble getting your actual webcam even into nvidia broadcast is because your webcam is probably being used somewhere else so make sure your webcam is not being used anywhere else before you start this process what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, click your webcam whichever one you have okay and then you're going to click the uh, resolution that you want i would say you want the best resolution you can um and then whatever effect that you want one thing that i hope that they add is like multiple effects and maybe hotkeys that change to those effects i think that would be a really cool uh, addition to this particular app because of the fact that you're able to then switch things on the fly and, and, and use this app a little bit more creatively. So that is how you set up the NVIDIA broadcast app. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, you can always visit me Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash loaded wombat. That's where I, you know, that's where I hang out most of the time. So uh, you guys can go there. I also answer all DMs on Instagram and Twitter. And we've got a Discord down in the description below. So that's where you can find me. You can also find me in the next video or like, you know, my other videos. Alrighty. Well, we'll see you next time. Uh, bye.